Okay, so we're using the Snap-on DTEC. It's a pretty easy machine. I want to just real quickly do a battery test. So I have it on this icon. Okay, we have your leads here for voltage, and then we have a clamp-on inductive ammeter. It's called inductive, meaning it measures the magnetic strength of the, of the current. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my machine. The big thing about the, uh, the amp probe is you can never let this uh, fall on the ground because it will ruin it, okay? So the other leads are not as bad as this one. All right, so I'm just going to hit yes for center. Okay, just on this one, just hit save. You don't need anything. All right, so connect small red clamp test to the positive post. Connect small black test to the negative post. All right, so that's pretty easy. So positive posts, always do positive first, then negative. It is going to ask us for cold cranking amps, so our cold cranking amps is right here, CCA, which is 610, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the machine, so no, it's in vehicle. Top post, it's an automotive battery. It's a regular battery, AGM is a gel battery, we don't have any of those in the shop. CCA. And we already have it at 610. If you need to change it, you just hit these. Hit yes. Hold tester two inches above because it needs to measure the temperature of the battery. So, here we go. Two inches above. Okay, so now it's testing. Good recharge. All right, so it's recognized to recharge the battery, which means that the battery is a little low. And if you look at it, it's, it's because it's one tenth of a volt low. The number should be 12.6. Okay, this is the DTAC uh, battery alternator uh, starter tester. We are going to do uh, all three of these in a system test, okay? It will check my battery, my starting, and my charging system and give me a printout. So I'm going to hit yes. System test. It's going to zero out my amp probe. So it already zeroed it out and wants me to connect it around a negative cable. So I'm going to go over to my negative cable over here and I'm going to clamp it around both the negative cables, okay? Right there, okay? All right, now I'm going to hit next. We don't need to do a customer ID, so just hit in this enter button. It's a t uh, top post, yes, so I'm hitting enter. Automotive, regular, AGM by the way is a gel battery. CCA, so it wants me to know the rating. And in this case, my CCA is five, uh, 610 cold cranking amps. So CCA stands for six, cold cranking amps go back to my DTEC I already have 610 cold cranking amps hit yes now it's going to ask me to measure the temperature okay so you're going to hit next after you hold it two inches above I'm going to put it two inches above the battery and I'm just going to hit next oh do it again there we go. Now it's testing my battery. Good recharge. Okay, so it does not like that I'm below 12.6 and that my cold cranking amps is below 610. So it's asking me if I want to recharge it. If I hit next. Battery needs charging. Do you want to char use the charger? This has a charging on the on the on the um, cart, but I don't want to charge at this time. No. Start engine. So now I'm going to go all the way in the car, and I'm going to start my engine. Grab my key, put it in the ignition, and let's see. 
So I already sensed it that it started. And it tells you how many amps it took to start the car. And it took 146 amps. It tells you the time in milliseconds, how long it took for it to start. And it shows you the voltage that it dropped to, 10.74. So I'm actually happy with this. The magic number is 10.5 and I'm actually seeing 10.7. Anything below 10.5, we need to look more into the charging system, the battery condition or something. So I'm gonna hit next. And now it's gonna check the alternator. Okay. Turn all vehicle loads off, idle engine. So right now we are idling. Okay. And I'm gonna hit next. Now it wants me to rev the engine. So with my foot down here, I'm gonna rev the motor. And you can see the gauge moving. It's gonna do it for five seconds. Firing data. Now it wants me to idle. So I take my foot off the gas. Okay, and I'm gonna hit next. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Alternate testing at idle loads off. Now it wants me to turn on all my accessories, including the blower motor. So I'm going to turn on my AC. Mr. Sullivan has this accessory that I can plug in. I'm going to make sure my fan's on high. I'm going to actually turn my wiper blades on high. Turn my lights on high. And I'm actually going to make it be high beams. So I'm going to pull that and make it be high beams. Let's see. Let's see. Should be... I think that's high beams. Yeah. All right. Once when I turn on all my loads, and let's go ahead and put it on high wiper blades. And then I'm going to hit next. Now it's testing all my loads with the vehicle idling. Now it wants me to rev my car. Five seconds. So. Idle engine, so I take my foot off the gas. I'm gonna hit next. And it's analyzing the charging system. Turn off all loads, so turn off my wiper blades, turn off my headlights, turn off my air conditioning, unplug my accessory, and I hit next. Turn on, oh, it wants me to turn off the engine too. So turn my engine off, and when I hit next, No problems, it's happy with everything. So it's actually telling me what my voltage is with the vehicle loaded and what with no load. And you notice when I turned everything off, my voltage went up a little higher. So it actually is quite happy with that. Okay. So I hit the center button that got me to this screen. I hit enter and then it's gonna actually print me out a report. Test report. So the battery is good, but it needs to be charged. There's a little graph telling you the state of health. Starter test. Cranking's normal. It like that. It gives you a graph of the amp uh, voltage draw for, to start the car and the amp draw to start the car. Charging system, it gives you the voltage with it no load versus loaded. Also a bar graph. And then it gives you uh, the frequency to see if the diodes are good, which is the ripple effect. That's a good uh, set of diodes. If it was larger oscillations or frequency, then we would suspect the alternator being bad. So we're good. We got this report printed out.